Good morning everyone. Welcome to another spring fishing video. Today my buddy Jesper and I are gonna show you the power of the eel. We're gonna fish with the 40 centimeter loose body eels. I'm gonna rig this eel up with a 30 gram screw in. And one of the reasons we like to fish with 30 gram, it's quite simple, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Uh, with 30 gram you can fish deep, you can fish shallow, but you can also fish fast and slow. And with slow I mean it does sink fast, but if you lift your tip up high, reel in the slack, keep tension on the line, you could almost pause the bait up in the surface. Um, it takes a bit of practice, but having that versatility with a 30 gram sinker makes us use 30 gram sinkers. 30 gram is like the most ideal weight for us to fish on structures between two to five, six meters. Um, it's easy to get fast towards the deeper areas and when you fish a really erratic spot you can fish following the contours of that specific spot. Um, I got a 30 gram screw in on this one I combine it with a, a Carbo 49 Savage Gear ready to go stinger, two trebles, put it underneath the attachment eye over here and then you're good to go. Usually I would advise to put on some super glue. I made a whole video about how you can rig these baits up. You could fish it with a jig hook and then you have one hook over here. If the fish are really really into it I would advise to uh, remove one of the trebles because if they inhale it uh, one hook less would be beneficial for the pike itself. Today it looks like it's really calm and sunny where we are now but we're probably gonna catch a lot of wind. Um, the past couple of days we had horrible wind conditions such that I drowned a GoPro and I drowned my phone as well. And not that it fell into the water, but there was just a lot of waves crashing over the boat, uh, which resulted in a lot of gear and stuff being completely wet. Um, and somehow electronics don't like to be wet, so uh, let's try to keep it a bit more dry today. Uh, we're gonna head out, fish the first spot, and see if we can show you guys the power of the eel. why we are fishing with a 30 gram weight on the uh, on the eels is that during these windy conditions if you're gonna fish any lighter probably gonna have some issues with uh, creating the right depth with the lure the waves are pushing your bait up there's a lot of current 
and also it makes it really really hard to control your bait properly so I'd rather have a bait that sinks a bit faster and if you lift it you tip up high it's easier to control than a lure with less weight on it because then you will probably fish high up on in the surface all the time and sometimes the fish really like the downward motion or like to stand a bit deeper it's easier to fish in conditions like this with a heavier jig head um, so far we had a couple of good fish um, the wind isn't gonna back down today so we're just gonna hop from spot to spot one other thing I'd like to mention is that we are fishing with the new SG4 rod this is the big bait specialist this is the heaviest one we got it is 220 gram casting weight and 295 centimeters 259 centimeters I make that mistake all the time and it's 259 centimeters long eight foot six um, I got it equipped with a Okuma Citrix Jesper got a Komodo SS both work fine um, fluorocarbon leader on it tied directly to the main line and the main line is silence grade 0 0.32 millimeters perfect for these conditions uh, because you especially when you fish out on the stones like this you will hit some stones the line will rub against the stones and that will cause the line to damage over time so it's good to inspect your line after a long day of fishing out on the stones like this let's head out to the next one take uh, hooked a bit funky so it looked much much heavier than it actually is um, still a good fish and on top of the stones like we had a couple later uh, earlier on we had a couple following and a couple of hits as well so this is a good indication that we need to find them a bit more shallow so that's what we're gonna do that's also one of the reasons why I switched to a perch set with a, a, a lighter sinker because the wind died down completely uh, let's try and get another one we on the one on the purchase. that usually produces in the evening. Now we're gonna drive back and fish two more spots and then we're gonna call it a day. We're after. We ended the day with several good fish and the giant that Jesper caught definitely stood out. Casting with big rubber baits all day is hard work but it can be super rewarding. The loose body eel absolutely delivers when it comes to catching big fish. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you guys in the next video.